All right, we have an update for you with the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, which we talked about yesterday how it was delayed because Sony and Disney disagreed on the content that should be in the trailer, namely whether or not they should show the three Spider-Man. There's a link on the top of the screen here. You can go watch that video if you want to catch yourself up with all of the details, or I can just briefly recap right now. In an essence, Sony wants to show the three Spider-Man in this first official trailer, and Disney does not. As a result of this, the trailer was moved from its predetermined release date of November 2nd, which had many different sources and insiders revealing that that was the for sure release date of the trailer. But because of this disagreement, the trailer was moved, and here we are now. I have an update for you. It seems like they have made a decision as to whether or not they are going to be showing the three Spider-Man, and depending on what side you fall on whether you want to see them or not in the trailer, you may be a little disappointed. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk about all major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. I'm your host, Chris. And your final reminder today is the last day to enter the giveaway for this awesome Spider-Man collectible. All you need to do to enter, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the Cosmic Wonders channel, and we'll be picking a random comment off of a recent video, and the winner will be selected that way. Good luck, and keep your eyes out for the giveaway winner announcement, both on his and my channel, tomorrow. So we have an update and it seems as though the decision has been made as to what's going to happen in this argument between Sony and Disney for what the content of this trailer is going to reveal. Now I will say and my personal belief is there really isn't a question at this point for me whether or not Toby and Andrew are in the film. Right now the argument is about whether or not we're going to reveal this information or not. We're also given a window of when we can expect the trailer to drop. We're given a five day window from an insider who so far through all of the Spider-Man news has had some very, very accurate information. So I trust his sources and maybe that means we could have an idea of when this trailer is coming out and I'll talk about that in just a second. So through all of the questions of what's happening with Sony and Disney and another argument yet again, we have found out that Disney doesn't want to show three Spider-Man to remain that cinematic experience of finding out that they're there in the movie at the cinema. Whereas Sony wants to throw everything in their arsenal at the fans, making sure the hype is there and everybody knows what's coming to them so that they can be encouraged to buy tickets, go to the theaters, and that the hype can be at an all time high. This is a pretty strong disagreement and it turns out a decision is seemingly been made. Coming from Taryn on Twitter, who is the same source that is giving us the information about the Taylor release date that we'll be talking about in just a second, he says, if you're looking forward to seeing Toby and Andrew in the second No Way Home trailer, I might have bad news for you, dot, dot, dot. And then on top of that, Spider-Man No Way Home updates and leaks, a huge leaking account on Twitter says, here's what I can say, a decision has been made. They go even further, and in the comments on this tweet, somebody said, so how will Tobin Andrew be at the premiere? To which Taryn responded, they won't be. Similar to the Black Widow, Olga, where she didn't get to go because nobody knew she was in the movie. All of the interviews that she had were after the release of the movie. She wasn't involved in the initial hype at all. Not until after it was revealed that she was in the film, and in fact, Taskmaster... So, the similar thing is going to happen with Toby and Andrew. They won't be involved in the premiere, and they won't be involved in any of the interviews until after the big secret that isn't a secret is revealed that they are actually in the film. And I suppose going into the movie without an official confirmation that they are in it is in fact going to leave us all on the edge and enhance the experience when we finally do see them. It is, however, interesting to me to hear that it looks like Disney is actually winning this argument because Sony is in charge of all of the marketing for this movie. So I feel like if Sony wanted to show three Spider-Man, then Sony would have said, sorry, Disney, we're showing three Spider-Man. However, that does embody the weight of Kevin Feige's opinion and what he has to say about what's going into what. Definitely, the MCU enhances the Spider-Man storyline, and the first billion dollar Spider-Man movie was Spider-Man Homecoming, right after Kevin Feige said, you guys can't do it, let me. So very interesting and the politics behind Sony and Disney and the MCU versus the Sony Spider-Verse of spider characters and Morbius who nobody really knows what universe he's in right now. Venom magically appearing in the MCU because that's the only way to make money is to have him in the MCU. 
It's all very interesting, and at this point, I guess all anybody can say is, in Feige we trust, because he's really yet to let us down up to this point. And I have to agree personally, I'm fine not seeing the three Spider-Man until I'm in the movie theater, waiting for them to appear, each of their individual theme songs showing up in the background. And I hope my theater loses its mind when that does happen, because the hype for that individual cinematic moment will not come around for a long time again. This is years and years of childhood Spider-Man showing up in one movie with the hype of the MCU, and it is going to be a lot to process. However, we're going to have to wait for that privilege because it doesn't look like we're getting the three Spider-Man and an official confirmation in the trailer. Now, I told you guys that from this exact same source, we had a trailer date target. And in the hype of everything going on around us with the Sony Disney argument, there were people starting to ask if we're even going to get a trailer if these two can't come to an agreement. The question specifically at him was, Taryn, what do you think about the rumor that says maybe no more No Way Home trailer at all? Honestly, I don't believe it. I think it would come in one or two weeks. Taryn responded saying, there is a second trailer. It's very likely coming from the 15th to 20th of November timeframe. So there's a five day window where Taryn seems to think this trailer will be coming out. He sounds very confident saying there is a second trailer and it's likely coming from 15 to 20 of November. And that's the date we're going to have to wait for since we don't have any other news or confirmation, especially in the midst of a huge Sony and Disney debacle. So as the patient soldiers we are, we continue to wait with nothing but leaks, scoops, and rumors to get us through, but the movie is a little bit more than a month away at this point, and there are definitely a ton of reasons to get excited. I think I'm leaning towards not wanting an official confirmation from Sony or Disney that there are three Spider-Men, which means the poster won't have Toby and Andrew, which means they won't be at the premiere or in the trailers or in any interviews. However, I think that the overall excitement of sitting in a theater with a thing of popcorn, watching them for the first time officially on screen in the movie will just be outrageous. And that's something I'm actually really looking forward to is that specific moment, which I think would be curbed a little bit by knowing already that they're in the movie. So a month of having to deal with not knowing and being frustrated at Sony and Disney for arguing is probably worth the one moment in the theater when they finally make their way on screen. But let me know where you fall. Would you like to see this happen in the trailer or in the theater for the very first time? And is it okay if we're waiting just a little bit longer for that reveal? So when the 15th and 20th finally rolls around and we do get this trailer, which seems to be coming with or without Toby and Andrew, we'll be okay when they're not in it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, thank you to everybody who watched till the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, consider subscribing and checking out our other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Discord. All the links are in the description down below. And I'll catch you all in the next one right here on Cosmic Culture.